Hello guys, so welcome to KO Tutorials. So here we are going to continue with the next part of this tutorial. So let's get started. So as you can see over here, we have started with the modeling of this particular bedroom over here. So let's continue it. So very first of all, what I'll be doing over here is like, uh, I'll be creating this bed over here. For that, what we'll be doing over here is like, let's go to the top view over here and let's go into the extended primitives and let's take a chamfer box let's take a chamfer box over here in this way so after taking a chamfer box over here I'll be slightly uh, just pushing it up definitely will be adjusting something below it so those details will be definitely generating that so first of all I'll again go into this and I can increase some fillet segments if required we can increase decrease the fillet segments over here after that what I'll be doing is like I can easily convert to editable poly and we can shift this up over here so before that again I'll go to the top view over here I can go into the top view and let's again take a chamfer box and make sure we are not fully covering it but we will be covering it a uh, maximum area over here and let's just slightly push this up over here and we'll be increasing its height a bit so once you're done over here now after that what I can do over here is like I can uh, use a cloth over here I can easily use a cloth over here how we can do that that's possible over here so let's go into this and let's take a plane over here let's just take a plane over here let's just slightly push this plane a bit up and let's increase its segments over here so we can rename it as mattress select this go into animation mass effects cloth create m cloth select this and this animation mass effects rigid body set selected as static rigid body so select this over here go into this go down and let's make the shape type as original let's make this as original over here select this go into animation mass effects simulation and let's just play the simulation so I'll just convert to editable poly over here after that after you have generated this simulation stuff over here what I can do is like I have few properties over here that's called uh, freeform properties let's go into this I can use this properties over here I can use this confirm option over here so I can easily uh, push it or even I can use this option
let's use smudge over here so i can increase the strength of this smudge property and i'll increase the brush size so whatever you want you can do that so let's use this i can slightly you know utilize this property in this way so it's all up to you how you want if you don't want the same effect you can do it of your own choice also also you have a property over here that's called a noise property you can also use a bit of a noise property so before using a noise property i'll be slightly reducing its uh, strength over here to very less so if you slightly use the shift again you can slightly smoothen that with that property over here you can make it uneven so in whatever way you want you can easily do that let's save your file after that if you want this to be pushed inside that can be done over here so we can also use a property that's called ffd box over here so we can use this property we can go into this or even you can add this so just select the control points and in whatever ways you want to shift it you can easily shift that inside it's all up to you how you want to use it in your own way so we can easily adjust this elements in the right manner so you can use this uh, ffd box that is a good option over here to manipulate with this stuff save your file after that you can just convert to editable poly and also you have some pinch option over here you can use a pinch over here for gaining some kind of a crease on the cloth that can be generated using this uh, pinch option can generate such details we have a strength option we can slightly increase the strength also and after that 
you can slightly use push and pull over here so if you want to use it you can slightly use this push and pull also just save your file over here so that would be much <coughs> better over here so now let's go to the again a top view over here let's go to the top view and let's take a box over here right from the top view so we are definitely going to arrange this in the right manner so select this whole thing slightly just push it inside down and save it so now we will create this books over here so books can be easily generated created over here so let's go into this auto grid activate this just resize this and increase its height a bit <coughs> so let's convert to editable poly over here let's select this edge this edge and let's give a bit of chamfer to it slight chamfer that's it and click ok so definitely uh, we'll be taking a copy of this so before we take a copy of this book we can slightly scale this slightly scale it and let's just duplicate it after that let's again duplicate it and let's rotate it slightly over here and let's just push it in this way save your file so again take one more duplicate of this particular book over here and let's just rotate it down push it up and drag it over so guys if you have any doubts please write it in the comment section over here so please like and subscribe my youtube channel So we will continue the rest of the part in the next tutorial. So thanks for watching this tutorial.